Hello, everybody. We did it. We made it to week 15. So we're at the end of the semester. Let's close this out nice and strong. So I have three announcements for this week. The first announcement is comments, 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 comments. You're doing this world dance project. When you uh, submitted step one, I looked at step one. I gave you feedback. Ideally, you apply that feedback so that if you had anything that was incorrect, it's now correct. Step two, I did the same thing, but I only looked at what was relative to step two. For step three, I only looked at what was relative to step three. So what does that mean? That means that let's say I wrote in your comments for step one, that what you listed as examples of the categories of dance, categories of vernacular dance from the reading. Let's say you, I wrote in your comments that that was incorrect. The other day when you submitted your assignment, I didn't check it because I already told you to address that. So make sure you've looked at the comments and you've updated your um, submission, you've updated your presentation based on my comments. I hope that makes sense. Here's a addition to that. Examples of vernacular dance listed in the reading and the lecture. It says that. So if you find yourself searching on the internet, you can't get off the internet what is in the reading. It's in the reading, right? So please make sure that you're using your resources wisely, right? Um, the second thing in relation to that world dance project is also in relation to, or it's not also, it is in relation to that base paragraph. Throughout the semester, the whole point of this class is so that you better understand dance. The idea that dance happens for a reason. People didn't just get up and start shaking their bodies for no reason. Something was happening either internally or externally, right? So something inspired the movement. When you are writing your base paragraph, you have to write that in there, right? So what is the name of the dance form that you're studying and that you researched on in that base paragraph? What type of, what was the video that you watched? Was it a video from a wedding where they were dancing this form? Was it from a soccer game? Was it somebody's backyard? Was it a dance competition? Was it an instructional video? Was it a rehearsal footage? Make sure that you're contextualizing it inside the paragraph and the very last thing is stay up to date on your assignments make sure that you're turning everything in because we will not have time to go back um i thank you for all the grace and all the patience you have offered me during the semester um because of yeah i thank you for your pace your patience and your grace um but to contextualize what's going on right now this class is a class of close to 80 students, and it is only one section of dance history that I teach. I teach two other, other sections, which means I teach a total of three sections of dance history, plus my other courses at the university, plus my other responsibilities, right? So it is, um, I'm not going to be able to go back and open up assignments from then, Right, so please make sure that in the present time that you are staying up to date on your assignments, that you are asking questions so that you can do really great in the present. Please do that. Let's knock this out. Let's get rid of this, not get rid of this. Let's get through this and have a great week, people. That's it. <laughs>